morning, everybody. Today I am uh, going to close up my A-liner and do a walkthrough of the things to check when I do my walk-around checks. And uh, here we go. First thing I got to do is close the dormers. Now I have to latch them. I just use these small carabiner type hooks to hold all my latches in place. Next thing I'm going to do is store my personal items. <laughs> Remember to pick up my lights. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, raise the stabilizers. It's always a good idea to lubricate the stabilizer sh uh, shafts uh, and it's best to use something that doesn't cause dirt and other debris to stick to the threads. So I, I use a dry lube, Loctite I believe. Alright, uh, the next thing is to uh, hold down the A-walls. I have to disconnect the door first from the bottom half. I forgot. <laughs> Take down my wind poles. Now I can get the other A-wall. And of course, before you drop the far A-wall, you have to undo that latch there so you can get to it. So you don't have to try and crawl over something to get to it. All right. I always latch the uh, deadbolt on the inside. Okay, now I am going to uh, lift my steps and raise the front of the trailer to prepare for putting the vehicle underneath the hitch. Steps.
I felt it, I felt it touch. Probably just didn't have it quite high enough, but it's, uh, it was resting on the ball there. onto the ball. Then I hook up the safety chains. Ooh, this gravel's hard on the knees. That one's the extra long one. I put a couple of small twists in this one. And this chain is quite long, so I had to put quite a few twists in it to make it the same length as the other one. I need to replace that sometime. Hook up my brake safety chain. Plug in the 7 pin connector. And now I need to now I need to uh, retrieve the chocks, get them picked up. Now that the safety chain is connected, I can remove the chocks. It's always better to have the A liner locked in position in some way, shape, or form. Either the cha safety chains or the wheel chocks. store them in this compartment. All right. Now I am going to go over all the things that I check in my walk around. With my tow vehicle running and the uh, four-way lights on and the headlights on, I uh, start the process of checking a lot of things on my camper to make sure that uh, everything is set to go for traveling. I have my spare keys because the, the main keys are in the ignition keeping the truck running. So the first thing I do is go over all the things that, uh, that happen in the hitching process. Make sure this is indeed latched in place. The lock is locked. All the cables are up. The blinkers are on. My marker lights are on. Marker light here. The reposition camera here to the side. Now I need to close this lock and lock this hatch. 
and I make sure that this pin is in and that the safety is let me get close on in on this I make sure that this pin is in and that it is safety is latched all the way the door is locked my side light is off I double check this is latched in place I haven't opened that in a long time this is latched and everything's fine with that then I'll move to the back check and and or lock this cabinet hatch marker light is working then I go to the back of the and the at the back of the A-liner the four-way flashes are working that tells me my blinkers are working the marker lights for the license plate and uh, the marker lights across the top are lit the latches for the dormer are in place and latched properly everything here is latched properly I always look at this latch on here to make sure that this is perpendicular to the slot for opening again that is latched my shower access I haven't been in that in a long time when I look at my refrigerator vents let me get in closer to those when I walk around at my refrigerator vents I make sure that these screws the screwdriver slot coin slot whatever you want to call it should be horizontal to the ground horizontal to the ground that is the locking mechanism that keeps this from coming out if those are turned slightly it decreases the tension on the thing that holds that into its receiver and then I have another marker plate here that I have to uh, look at, light to look at, and I need to lock this hatch. Get my key in the right place here. Okay, again, check my wind pole to make sure that that safety is in place then I walk around the vehicle adjust the camera I walk around the vehicle and make sure that everything looks good of course you want to check the tires and everything all the turn signals are working properly all the lights are on and working Turn signal is working. My other camera. Stabilizers are up. Latches are latched. I'll make a second walk around. Just looking at the general fitness of everything. I have a tire pressure monitor and I've turned the amplifier on for that. And uh, Stabilizers are up. That's all locked. And once more on the truck. Nice, Scoob. <laughs> Where'd you go? The neighbor's dog Scooby came to visit. That is, that is closing up the A-liner, and if you like this video, uh, hit the thumbs up button for the like. Uh, if you want to get notified whenever I post a video, uh, click on the bell, and it will automatically uh, uh, send you a notification when I post a video. And uh, please subscribe if you 
not already subscribed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>